This is Date Master. Yes, we're back again with another banger. Make sure when you come in, you hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell. So anytime I drop a video, you can listen to the premiere as it streams. Here we are again. We must lay rest to one of our greats. Again, I've done videos talking about the dating and mating strategies of the modern woman, the woman of today, the woman that does not and cannot acknowledge greatness and really understand the levels that men get to and how they got there. They're just looked at as utilities. You know, I can use you until I can't. And then once I'm bored of you, I will discard you and take half of your earnings or whatever I want on the way out. Um, this is the American system, which allows such uh, behavior because again, women are the economic stimulus. They spend the most, they have the most debt. They pretty much facilitate a lot of the corporate uh, wealth building. They facilitate the corporate structure to where they have you going to certain games, certain events, wearing certain designers, eating certain foods, paying certain tabs at certain restaurants. You have restaurants that your food may come out to be about $1,300 or more. You have to ask yourself, is the food worth over $1,000? And then you say, well, look at the extreme negative to where the ones that are in, in a poverty, impoverished situation have to eat McDonald's or Taco Bell where you can get a 99 cent taco or a 99 cent burger. So you have a range from 99 cent to thirteen hundred dollars for food that goes into your body. Now, ask yourself, what is the benefit of the thirteen hundred dollar meal versus the, you know, 99 cent in, in, in that area? I'm not going to go into a tangent, but I just want to show you the way women have facilitated. Because, again, you have to take her on these type of dates, right? She's of this value, even if you have the money, even if you don't, you have to take her to these type of establishments so she can get the look. So she can peacock on social media so you can peacock on social media because you benefit from doing this as well. Because women, other women see that you treat women nicely, which you should if they have a purpose in your life or if they have provided something that you have provided of equal value i'm all with it's a even swap is not a swindle you provide me with a certain value I, I provide you with a somewhat equivalent we can cut the difference you see how i said the difference instead of the loss you look at scotty pippen a man who is a hall of fame who played with the great michael jordan who is forever stamped and I have several videos about Scottie Pippen because I want to drive this home. The levels that men get to, women do not understand or care for. They just want to make sure you have the resources in which they can extract. They will enjoy the ride. They will enjoy the experiences. But you have to ask, what is the handicap after leaving such a guy? Well, there really is not a handicap to the woman because she has conditioned herself that I was looked at as a wife for 19 years or however many years they were married. Even if it was for six months, she's going to be looked at as a former wife. So they achieved the goal because in that moment of being a wife or getting married, they were able to gloat to their friends, to the social media world, etc. that I'm able to get married. But after that feeling wears off, just like a new car, the new car smell is going to it's time for a new one. OK, it's time for a new bag. It's time for the new phone. It's time for the new whatever is hot and trendy. And that goes with dating. You see the trends of men that, hey, it's light skin in the 90s. It's dark skin now. It's the dreads. It's the waves. It's the braids. It's, it's all these different archetypes that come in in seasons because women have to choose a certain man that is in style. Larsa had a man that was in style when he retired again you see all of these divorces tend to happen post career because during that career all of the amenities are being enjoyed and being consumed 
the VIP seating at the hotel or the games, the press box, the preferential treatment. Hey, you're Scottie Pippen's wife. Hey, you're Michael Jordan's wife. But they don't understand the work and dedication that was necessary to get to having such a presence when you go all over the world. So there must be a fall guy. This is the Black Widow effect in which women now will get with the man for the experiences for the ego because she continuously is looking to level up. If you're not leveling her life up, she's going to look at you as deficient because she thinks in her mind she's supposed to have a basketball wives type of lifestyle. She does bare, bare minimal work. She's traveling to Mykonos, Greece. She's traveling to Dubai. She wants to show this to social media, to her friends. To It's the pecking order. So Larsa Pippen once say, woman gets to this age. Just look at the look at the ages of the divorces, the Tia. They're in their 40s. So they just wanted to keep that pristine look from like 20 to 40. After that, because their hormones are now raging. I tell you, I speak about this in previous videos. A woman libido increases as she gets older. So think about this. The woman libido de uh, increases, the man libido increases. Uh, decreases so he's looking to get his libido up by going after younger women i.e the sugar daddy see the sugar daddy and the cougar are kind of one and the same that's where you get the term cougar but a cougar hunts the sugar daddy tries to lure with the candy hey i got the money come talk to me come do this i got the money whatever the case may be the cougar is really intentionally going out to hunt just go and look at your bars, go and look at your night spots. Look at the age demographic of the women that tend to frequent these places now. If you're on the scene, if you're not on the scene, I suggest, you know, do you some field work. Take some time away from the purpose. And when it's time to kick back, take you a break. Notice how I say take a break. Even myself, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to the in my yayo next week and i'm going to have some video content i'm going to post on my youtube but even you know we're celebrating the work is not going to stop i'm not going to put a um out of the office on my business pages i'm not going to put um um on vac i'm not doing that i'm still taking orders it doesn't stop. You can take a break. But during that break time, get out in the field and take a look at the age demographic of women who are frequenting these places. You have to ask yourself, why would it, why, why are they here? It's the same place you go where you go. Why? You're there for a purpose. No matter the purpose does not matter. The point I'm driving is that there is a reason nonetheless in which these women are now getting out and about dancing, prancing around, frolicking. Because they feel they still got it. They see the younger women as the competition that drives them. Their estrogen act X is the same as our testosterone. It's just the application is different. See, theirs is a by any means. We still tend to move with a little bit more integrity than a woman will have to move. She, she'll lie. She, she'll do whatever and have a reason or a justification for it. We try to, because we have to network, even though there is some backbiting and some hating and slick shit that goes on amongst men, we still have a group and a more brotherhood approach to success because we have to. You have to have a network of individuals that fuel and funnel the resources that you need and you to them. It's a system. So you see these women out. You see the Larsa Pippins on the Internet. Ask yourself. Why am I seeing the same shit in reality that I see on the Internet? Because it is a reflection of the two, the two worlds. One is fake. One is more real. This is the Black Widow effect. And in in, in you see the women come out and they tell you that if you don't have X, Y, Z, I'm not going to date you. They basically line you up to be used. And you see guys who don't understand the way women date the, the female dating strategy of today is to identify resources, therefore see how I can benefit or or take. Just think about how women used to date back in the when, when we were children. When you used to date, women, the girls, not women, but the girls had to like you for you. You used to see these odd couples. You notice that? Those odd couples in high school, junior high, even in college. And then after us, you know, the wall comes crashing down. Now there's a certain archetype 
certain type of guy now because it is about the look you'll see these women marry these guys i see you see it on the line the married women are now in the story showing the bikini prints the boy shorts the the lingerie the pro provocative attire all while having a whole husband and the husband is so weak and so uh scarcity mind uh minded he is allowing this because he can't do any better she can from a sexual standpoint but not from a committed standpoint because usually the guy that she'll get is going to see this and say well you had a whole guy now you're on the blade i'm only going to smash you on the rebound and you know my stance on rebound dating it is very temporary so you must enjoy it and identify that you are indeed the rebound guy so you can move accordingly the black widow effect is basically a woman taking a man through the ringer through the blender there must be a fall guy these women are hitting the wall at 40 and getting revitalized going to get their body done all type of uh shortcuts to get back into the dating market because that estrogen will not allow them to not compete with the younger version of themselves that they see on the internet daily they must compete if you're going to identify women, her social media presence has to be very limited and she has not she must have not a desire for it, an addiction to it, because she will be corrupted by it more than likely. These women will identify you. You just have to look at the behaviors, the values, listen to the conversation. If it, it is about legacy. It is about procuring additional resource to leave for the children, the children's children, this community, because you can't take it with you. You know, amass the wealth, but if it's not benefiting anyone other than yourself, it is kind of useless. Get the resources, benefit, enjoy what it can do, and but share them because there are people that will not have the mindset, the grind, the determination, the discipline, the knowledge to do what you may do or are capable of doing or will do. You build it and they will come. Build every build yourself first, then go for the money. Then you again see who can fit into this new life. Do not remain in the same place. Do not be here next year. Be in a different space evolve because you will be a scotty pippen not in the literal sense of getting half of your nba salary that you worked sweated ran suicides two a days getting cussed out by the great michael jordan having these high expectations just working under pressure the sacrifice to get to the six time championship six these women do not understand what it takes to get there. But I want you guys to take, make sure you like, again, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It's the Date Master.